I keep seeing some out here. Well, this ain't nothing but a rerun to me. I was like, tell him, man. Tell him. Cut the TV off on him. Yeah, you know it. That's a buff power move. Oh, yeah, I bought this TV. Yeah, I was about to say, it's my TV. Oh, my God. He was all excited to see it, too. Shit, he thought he was going to be. I love it. Yeah, he thought he'd be looking up some more Popeye. They're like, nah, man. Boys gonna kill me. He got this big screen TV. He gonna sit right in front of it. Yeah. All he can see is pixels. <laughs> ah, people. Yes. You know, back in the '90s and early 2000s. Uh, you know, black people had an ambassador, man. We had the one who spoke for us. You know, the a lot of people said, you know, this guy, John Singleton, you know, he he really has made my white ass understand the strife of living in the hood. <laughs> you know, it's a, it was at the time when hood movies were, they were cultural education <laughs> for white people out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At the, John Singleton alone made the world think that most black people in America lived in the hood. <laughs> He's like, people, <laughs> people yeah. as far as the world was concerned, there was nothing but the hood. Black people did not live in the suburbs. Black people did yeah. not live on farms. Black people nope. did not, they, they, black people did not live in mansions. Black people didn't even live in, in, in cabins and poor houses. No, they lived in a, in a place called the hood, you know, thanks to his movie, Boys in the Hood. And he followed that up later. Some people say it was the spiritual successor to Boys in the Hood. Another boy movie, Baby Boy. They don't be calling my house asking to speak to my woman. What's happening, buddy? <laughs> People, this is Baby Boy. And this is, I'm being serious about this. This is back when, uh, when white people used to look at these hood movies almost like they looked at National Geographic. You know, this, is, this made them understand, oh, I, I understand their culture now and what these poor people have been through. It's a shame as long as they don't bring their black here <laughs> you know right. it really was was that say keep it on the screen yeah <laughs> all, all these movies were, look, were looked upon as important films because they they showed the world what really was going on in black america and apparently it all happened in south central la <laughs> while they were saying that which a lot of them said about this movie baby boy i looked at this and i said this is weird <laughs> this, this is just <laughs> this is crazy <laughs> This movie's crazy. <laughs> Martin, you saw it. Martin, Martin hit, hit me up today. He said it. He had me laughing. What'd you say, Martin? I said this movie is hilarious. <laughs> and he put hilarious in all caps. Martin, <laughs> this is what Martin <laughs> said to me. Martin said, baby boy is hilarious. <laughs> you just had so many places where I was like, what is that? Wow. It's just, it, it's and it's just still going. It's, it, it's, it's all, all over the place. Over. Got some great reviews from critics out there, but again, I, yes. listen, I can't speak from for other people, but I do think it's from people who do want to have some sort of sensitive approach to what they consider to be black culture. Sure. You know, I, sure. I, I get that. I was cringy or cringed walk, watching this movie, man, because I just don't like this. Kind of, uh, I, I, I appreciate it. It's out there. There's a certain reality to it. But I still don't think that there's enough balance out there. So if I get in here and you want to, you know, if this is a hood classic, I ain't looking down on it. Just hear me out, because there is a lot of, you know, like unpack here with, with this movie. <laughs> Hold on, man. Ain't nobody in this room saying hood classic. <laughs> you, you ain't saying it, but there is somebody out there who's gonna sit up here, and I guarantee you. No, no, oh, yeah. yeah one no, person, you're right. You're right. One person gonna say, "Man, this a hood classic." So what you have here, first of all, the story is about, as you heard in the trailer, Jody. It's pretty much, it's, if they would have allowed it, this movie would have been called Tri- you know, I, I was, Ooh. Oh, man, you stole my joke. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Whoa, oh, oh, Jody can't get his shit together. Oh, no, he is trifling. Boy, this is just I mean, even, even more so than McCod and, uh, and, and Saving Grace. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Jody don't want to do nothing. It's basically about this whole movie is about and, it, and listen. There's you know there's a point to it. It's, it's about the it's about black men. You know, with in, in in America, how racism and poverty has just stunted their growth. And, yeah, infantilized, stunted their growth. 
And, and Jody is one. He's the, the he is the example of that in this movie. Jody don't want to do shit. Jody don't want to. Jody don't want to work. Jody don't want to commit. Jody don't. Jody don't want to leave the house. Hence the name <laughs> yeah. Baby Boy. But like I said, this this it, 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 you could man, this movie's it's so all over the place. You could I mean, if you really wanted to come in and be that critic with it, you could say there's sort of this this avant garde European feel to the narrative, you know, and all that because it just floats from one thing to another. Yeah, no, yeah. man. Yeah, I mean, what but, is it ever? I mean, I guess it's that's not wrong. And somebody said it's a hood classic. I mean. Can you argue that it's not? It's no. What are the hood classics? It's like the, it's like the French New Wave of hood movies, man. <laughs> <laughs> kind of is. But I was like, man, why was this movie? Why was the movie so weird to me when I saw it? And I and I remember, man, because it starts out the movie's called Baby Boy, but it starts out with Tyrese being a a baby man, yeah, like yeah. literally a baby man. In the womb. In, yeah, in the. Yeah, it opens up with him in in the in the in the womb right here, and at first I didn't even know what the hell this was because this looks like <laughs> looks like it looks like somebody's cloning Tyrese in a lab or yeah is, is, is this the new Matrix yeah, yeah right oh he's a uh, he's like a Resident Evil monster that's being created or something you know I I didn't I didn't know what the hell was going on and then you know as I watched it I was like okay I, I see what they're doing this is a they're, they're doing a visual metaphor she says that because of the system of racism the black man in this country has been made to think of himself as a baby now I'm like all right that's that's cool that's 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 pretty clever man you know but but I have to say that the scene with him actually being born that had me laughing my ass I don't want to lose my baby. <laughs> And the reason why it had me laughing because I said, yeah. well, shit, that's just like Tyrese up in that cave. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah you know that's exactly like that. It's exactly <laughs> like that. They open up that vagina and pull his ass up. <laughs> 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 that's how much Jody don't want no responsibility, man. He don't even want to come in the world. When we get to Jody in real life, you know, immediately we immediately see he ain't shit. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I immediately the we see he ain't shit, man. Uh, and you know they try to do this whole thing of like, well, as you heard Martin say, right? you know, this whole thing of like, well, you know, racism and the man holding me down. What does a black man call his woman? Mama. What does a black man call his place of residence? The crib. Okay, e even even if that is true, and there might be some truth to that, even if that is remotely true. You still ain't shit. You know I mean, right. Exactly. Right. Get, 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 get. Yeah. yeah, it's like somebody heard that and adopted it and were like, well, okay, well, now you see. It's not my fault. I can relax. <laughs> I, I can't yeah. do shit now. Yeah. Yeah. I can go back to, to, to being a, a, a no good. As you see, life is holding me down, so it ain't my fault. So I can just go back to sleep on the couch all day, not be. Right, exactly. That take care of nothing. Yeah, I ain't, ain't got to do shit. No clock. <laughs> Y'all see, see what racism doing to me? You know what people do when they use an excuse? Like, there's some truth to it. Yeah. Look, speak, yeah. speak the truth, but do something about it. Don't, say, <laughs> don't sit up here and say, you know, what do, what do we call our, our home crib? What do we call, um, what do we, what do we call our, our girlfriend's mama? What do we call our friend's boys? You know, and then take your ass back to sleep on the couch and do nothing about that. Right, right. Well, that's enough for today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I gave, I I gave y'all that. Way, exactly. I, well, I gave y'all education, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get your black ass up and do something. I almost hate this character. I almost. Right. I almost hate this character. He's every cringy stereotype that the world thinks about black men in America. And I tell you, this movie, this is what I'm this, this is why I feel weird about this movie because the movie sits up here and makes all these points, but it still puts that image out there. Cuz he he don't he, through 99.9% .9 of this movie, he don't do shit about his trifling ass life. Nothing. Nope. <laughs> you know what? I I I I know how you feel and I couldn't quite hate him because A, he was pathetic. And B, <laughs> every right. character in the movie tells him so. Oh, they do. They yeah. do. Yeah. You know, the with, with, the, with the exception of his best friend, yeah. I think he even maybe he said it one time. <laughs> well, you know, you know, like I said, man, he's 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 every yeah, he either. he's every stereotype. He's every stereotype of 
every black man that everybody thinks around the world, man, you know, when they put this kind of image out here. And he, I mean, he checks off every box, every one of them. Shit, they, we have to add some boxes to that list for his stupid ass. His, his, so his, his, his baby mama, Yvette, played by Taraji P. Henson, he just took her to the clinic to have an abortion, which I'm sure he talked her into doing. And so when she comes back, you know, he knocked her up, made her get an abortion. He ain't got no job. So she she don't want to deal with his dumb ass. So when she don't want to deal with his dumb ass, what does he do? Leave me alone, Jody. Just get out of my face. But well, then I guess you don't mind if I use your car then, huh? Because you, know you know his trifling ass ain't got one. That's why. <laughs> you see her face? Gordon, when she <laughs> yeah, heard yeah. it, she was oh, like... Yeah. Serious? Yes. <laughs> Her eye look, 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 look. <laughs> She's like, she I know like, he did. She's what? like, again? <laughs> when I say again, this is probably like the fifth abortion and the fifth time he's asked to use that car afterwards. Right. Well, well Corey, uh, you 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 walk right past the first sign he was trifling because she, when she comes out of the abortion clinic, he's leaning against the car eating a box of lemon heads. Lemon heads, heads yeah. <laughs> Just, don't you see how concerned he is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, baby, you yeah. all right? Oh. <laughs> and you, they, want, you want some of these lemon heads? And they Never made mind. sure to, like, the first character you meet in this movie is lemon head. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, you just end up there eating lemon heads. Not giving a <laughs> Look, not concerned at all. Not at no. all. Shit, you think about oh, using that man. car later. That's what it is. And here's the thing right. about him yeah. wanting to use that car. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> he said, "You know, you want some lemon heads? Oh, oh damn, ain't yeah, no shit, I got to get you some lemon heads. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And oh so, what does, he want, what does he want to use? What does he want to use the car for? You know, hmm. it, I wonder. Yeah, I wonder. What is it, people? I, you know, you got a stereotypical trifling ass black ass hood figure right here. What do you What do you think he's gonna use that car for? Ah! The hell you screaming that? I'm home, fix a nigga some food. He using that to go see his side girl. After he had his girl get an abortion, go see his side girl, not to just go over there and get some ass, but because he hungry and for food, he goes over there to eat because he's too lazy and too broke to get his own. You know, and that's another thing that I hate about this character, man. That's another thing I hate about these all these characters in the movie, man. All of them. All of them. Because, hey, listen, that's his side chick. She cooking for him. He's going over to see him when his other chick's asleep. So, of course, he got a baby by her. Daddy got it all under control. Look at my pretty baby. That's one thing I know how to do is make some pretty babies, huh? Yeah, because you, you can't do shit else. Ain't got no hey, skill but... He can't but, raise him. What's that? He can't, can't raise him. raise him. All he can do is stick his dick in something and make a and make a pretty baby. And and Martin's right, can't raise him, cause while he's in there, while he's in there smoking weed with his side chick who just fed him. Go ahead and pour damage out. Grandma, sit up there raising the kid. And by the way, I seen this shit in real life in my own neighborhood. And I don't even come from a bad neighborhood, so this shit gets to me anyway. I was like this movie, man people until they got to one per particular character i was like all right now we talking because while we because <laughs> while we on the while we on the subject of uh, uh of his crib and asked for his crib uh one guess one guess who he lives with what y'all doing to the backyard mom i told you i was starting a garden mama i was like whoa whoa wait a minute we talking about mama like that's your girl <laughs> are we talking about like oh, mother right right because right, right. i was just like I thought that was another one. His side chicks, people. That's AJ Johnson, who's fine as hell. Ray plays his mind. I'm fine as cat hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now either yeah, I, was, I was so like, wait, how is she his mama? But she was 15 years older than him. Yeah, that, I was she about to say yeah, yeah. that. So either that is a very early teen pregnancy, or that's some of the best case of black don't crack that I've seen right there, because yeah. she is fine oh. as hell. I, I, yeah. I was like, God, damn. when they were standing next to each other, they looked like brother and sister. I'm talking about one or two years apart. Mm. I mean, but it works because it he's, works. he's got an Oedipus complex through this whole thing. Oh, my thing. God. Yeah. Oh, he does. I mean, it's, it's almost creepy, man. Yeah. And yeah, he well, calls somebody it, tells him that later on. Yeah. Too, yeah. yeah, man. And don't and don't care. Don't care nothing. I mean, on top of that, he's selfish. Don't care nothing about mama's happiness. Not one bit at all. Don't care that mama... 
Mama got a new boyfriend. Actually, he's very concerned. I'm sorry about that, about her having a new boyfriend. Because when she gets a new boyfriend, what is his biggest concern? I know she gonna wanna kick me out. He gonna wanna lay up in the house, move my ass out so we can get at my mama. You mean like the way you laying your black ass up in the house? <laughs> I love it. Like Omar Gooden's like, here's the time you need to fuck him out your ass. Like, 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 I mean, I mean, yeah, he, he, he been saying this for a while, man. But I mean, you know, how long are you gonna push yeah. this thing? Well, he, he's being a good friend because he's he's got that that look yeah. of concern on his face. No, he but don't care. Like, That's fake. Yeah, he don't care he don't at all. Care. He's like, oh, yeah, man, enough of this. Yeah, don't care about mama's happiness at all. It ain't a matter. It ain't a matter of uh, the the boyfriend's in the house and he's worried about her safety. No, he's worried about being pushed out by this new dude. Be worried about kicked out. He says that through the whole movie. You gonna kick me out? Why you gonna kick me out? Cause you a grown goddamn man. That's why. Scared, scared to leave the nest. He's so much a little boy. He sits in the house, be, acting like one. Ain't got no job, but sitting there making model cars. <laughs> <laughs> room, room is serious? yeah. He sit yeah. Room decorated like a little boy's room. He got, he got two, Tupac spray paint on the wall over here. <laughs> Which is actually pretty good. I gotta say, he kind of. Yeah, that's, that's a good nice. picture. I can kind of see why. Know. Yeah, I can. See, I can kind of see why he don't want to leave this spot right here. That's kind of nice. <laughs> you <know>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take this wall with me. <laughs> when you're 14. Yeah, that's a that's a ass room. He's got everything but a race car bed. <laughs> 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 or a bunk bed yeah. for what his friends said tonight. Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't be a race car. It'd be one of them damn com hood convertibles and shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit would have, have rims on it. <laughs> have, have hydraulics. Yeah, yeah. hit some switches on it. Yeah, when he, when he wakes up and throws his ass out of bed. Yeah. <laughs> that's also uh, Tupac in there because I know that's uh, John Singleton giving like uh, respect to, to Tupac, him and him. Him and Tupac were tight. So. Yeah, tribute. Yeah, yeah. A little tribute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for a while, this, uh, th you know, this, this just seems to about. Th th this just seems to be about no good black man. This movie right here, uh, you know, and no good black man and the stupid ass women that love them. Oh, uh, uh, I mean, yeah, they, you hate them, but show. after a while, you start looking at all these women. And it's like y'all are stupid. There's, there's no room for feminists in this movie. No. no. All, Bitch, all these please. And how long you been with Chris? How many times that nigga done gone upside your head and put his foot in your ass? It's all right. No, not really. No, it's not. All these women are with these. Only thing you can say about Jody is Jody is he's he's like the the least bad out of all these dudes. All these other dudes beat their women and you know they do some they out there gang banging and murdering and shit. You know they try to they try to at least make Jody look like he's got a heart. You know, they try to make yeah. Jody look like he's well. At least he ain't a killer. Well, at least he ain't smacking his. He, at least he ain't smacking his hoes around like these other dudes. You know, so you know, so it's the the least of all evils in this movie, man. But these chicks yeah, piss me right. off. And, and listen, you can call me anti-feminist. You can say, well, I don't understand what these women are going through. No, I don't, because all they do is fight with these dudes. I mean, just scream like Yvette, who play who's played very well by Taraji P Henson very right well. here. Uh -huh. Yeah, all they all they do is fight over dumb shit. You know, all the dumb shit that their man do in the movie. And uh and and then they get back with him. And you know, it it it, it and it's just cycle. a cycle. Yeah. Jo you know, Jody uses Yvette's car to go out and cheat. And she screams at him about it. Give me the keys to my car, Jody. You ain't going shit. nowhere. Hey, I hate you. I hate your ass too. And then right after that, right after yep. that, right immediately after that. I could bite you right now. Uh, that's the beat it up right dance right there. And got his ass down like a leprechaun over here and shit. <laughs> I know. And, and then right after they do that, right after they're done, the cycle continues. Goes right back to square one. You making all the bitches at my job have a reason to sit up there laughing at me. Girl, you better calm the f*** come over there and slap You ain't gonna do Boy, can you imagine? <laughs> Man, she, 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 she dropped her ass too right there. You see this? I, I, she does like this. I'm sorry, it makes me laugh. I, I swear, most the movie with most in this movie, her scenes are all about her trying to get him to hit her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. You ain't gonna do. Yeah, she dropped that ass while she said that too yeah, to emphasize. You ain't gonna do. And boy, can you? I, 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 I they just it's. The movie's repetitive almost, how they just go through oh, the yeah. cycle, man. I mean, the movie's two hours and nine minutes. They could easily shave ridiculous. off some of these arguments and make mm -hmm. this movie a lot shorter. They were getting on my f I, I just imagine being their neighbors, man. I'd be calling the police on these bitches every day. He messes around on her. Then she screams uh -huh. about it. 
And, you know, and, and the thing is, I... I hate him because he comes back with the dumbest shit, the dumbest explanations for I his behavior. Told you the truth all the time, and that means I don't give a fuck. I'm out in these streets telling these hoes the truth. I lie to you because I care about your feelings. And she actually falls with that kind of shit. I wish a bus would just fall on both of them, man. I can't stand <laughs> it. You know, Corey? You know, Corey? Kind of don't blame her fall for that because I'm like... Wait a second. How the fuck is this? Okay, he, he, he must be on some different shit because this don't make no goddamn sense. He must be on, must be on some cosmic shit. I'm like, wait, what did you say? Hey, man, he's playing three-dimensional chess. He sure is, boy, because it's like, I'm about to tell these bitches the truth. I lie to you because I love you. As a man, I'm not supposed to say this, but I hate Yvette more than him, I think. And the reason why is because Yvette... Yvette is the one that... I mean, she's putting herself in this situation, and she got no dignity about herself whatsoever. You around? Nope. Let me smell your dick. Once you sink so low that you sniffing dick, you need to let that go. When you're on your knees <laughs> sniffing, sniffing dick to figure out this dude is cheating on you, you need to let that shit go. You can only have black people yelling at each other in movies so much or for so long before things start slipping into black theatrics. You yeah, know, it, you, you, yeah. At some point, it's gonna turn into you know a, a, a goddamn Tyler Perry play or something, man. I mean, play, not a movie, a, yeah, play. a play, yeah. yeah. Tyler Perry play. Yeah, jo Jody knows <laughs> this. Is how so? See, we're talking. We're telling Jody uh, talking about Jody saying he's full of shit. Jody be like, I know, I know, I'm full of shit. You ain't telling me nothing. I don't know. Play it. You know, I, I know <laughs> what I, I know. What my life is. Jody knows he's so full of shit that he's gonna die one day. Just because he can't get his life together. And so he keeps having these premonitions of death going on. Oh God, is that me? Now, this this leads to some of the <laughs> this leads to some of the funniest scenes of black overacted I have I've seen in a long time. Give a bad God, please! Give a bad <laughs> people. You don't get no more cliche than the black woman crying in church. And I must apologize to Tyler Perry about this, because even Tyler Perry look at this shit and shake his head and be like, no, no, I don't do this. Uh, uh, I'm not. <laughs> He'd be like, that's it right there. Yeah. <laughs> He's in my next movie. <laughs> oh. You need a recording course. <laughs> yeah. And it, this is what gets me, man. With Jody, it gets to a point where you think Jody might be, Jody might be doing good, man. Because Jody starts going out there and being an entrepreneur. I was like, all right, now, see, that's what I'm talking about. Don't work for nobody. <laughs> be, be, be your own man. Go out there and make, make your own living. And I was like, you know, maybe, maybe old Jody's finally get to, getting it together. Jody's finding these dresses and he's going around and selling them around, around beauty Finding. salons. Yeah, uh, around these beauty salons and, uh, uh, and, and parking lots and other places. See this? That's your color. <laughs> see how soft that is right there? <laughs> Okay, so he's probably used to around too, but still, good for Jody, man. At least he's doing something. And, and uh, you know what? It's funny too because he's in the salon. So, you know, they every salon in the hood got at least one. Got that, got, yep. got that. You know what it is, Billy. You know what it is. Yeah. The gay dude, the flamboyant gay guy. $40. <laughs> Look, man, $35. That's the lowest I can go. Squeeze my tiny ass up in this. Yo, big ass ain't gonna fit in that. The hell you talking no, about? No, <laughs> and, don't, and don't forget when he clucks right after that. Like that. <laughs> and, 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 and how did how did five dollars make that big of a, big difference? a difference? I do, man. I know, I know. Because <laughs> it went from huh, oh, I can't do this to like woo. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be my tiny ass I mean, I mean, I get the like uh, I can't do 40, 35, All right, but come on. Yeah. <laughs> He gonna look like She-Hulk wearing that shit. Come on, man. <laughs> Where the hell is Jody getting these clothes? Thank you. Thank you. Come on, dog. Thank you. God damn it, Jody. You know, what, what, what <laughs> the fuck did I even think this? <laughs> Corey, man, go fill out a motherfucking application somewhere, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, okay, even like this whole venture with him selling dresses, Really came out of nowhere. It does. Like, like no, we're God. watching one movie and then suddenly, <laughs> like, I got inspiration. I'm gonna start selling dresses. And he's out there just doing it. I was watching this, man. Yeah. I was like, I'd actually wrote down because I was on a plane taking notes. And I was like, I, I wrote because I saw my notes and I was like, I said, where is this going? 
Because you're right, it came out of nowhere with this. Yeah. And he goes on for a while. And uh, uh, when he first makes all those sales in one day, he's come out counting his money, 100, 200, 300. You look close. Those are ones in his hand. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, because 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 like, he's like, because the first couple of them, I was like, I can't tell those bills are. And later he's like 300, 400. I can say, like, I see clearly those are one dollar bills. One, two hundred, three. That's like four. Yeah, those are ones, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Three, shit, well, maybe, one, two, shit, three, maybe. Or four, five, <laughs> or six, or seven. Yeah, maybe, maybe Jody can't count. You know, I don't know. He's <laughs> what do you mean, maybe? Yeah. Still trying to give Jody, Jody a chance, man. I said, you know what? Sure. Well, well Jody, you know, Jody, Jody is just like the, the, you know, the rapper who started out selling drugs. You know, I did what I had to do, and now I went legit. I said, maybe Jody mm -hmm. will sell these. He'll sell these, uh, these stolen dresses, and then he'll save up his money. And actually try to do something, inve invest in his life. No, okay. he does what every other hood and their motherfucker does. Shorty, what you do to my car? Baby, I got the tinted windows done. I got some tears for my Mexican homie. <laughs> Put rims on a shitty car. Yeah. Now, you know, <laughs> I know, I know. And yeah, look, look what I did for you in this car that I'm going to be driving more right, than you right. will. Yeah. <laughs> Picking up girls with. <laughs> It's like, what's that scene like? Hey, mom, I bought you a movie. It's called The Matrix. Like, <laughs> yeah, that ain't for me. That's the yeah, end. Exactly. That's why, that's why, uh, I, you know, I said, this movie got to give me something. I can't see Jody running around here doing this dumb shit with no repercussions at all. That's why it was finally good to see Jody catch a bad one, man. man. <laughs> and it's not, it ain't what we think it is yet. Because, I mean, this, keep in mind, this is a baby boy. We got to work our way up to the main course. Jody's such a baby boy that he gets he his ass gets beat up by actual boys in the parking lot. Oh, yeah. I mean, and this 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 came out of nowhere too, man. Somebody stole his, uh, his alcohol. He ran around the he ran around the corner and saw the goddamn the uh, uh, the Tiny Tim gang on his. Yeah, yeah, fucking little the Owl Gang. Yeah, yeah. little rascals. He found the, the hood rascals and shit, and they hood <laughs> rascals. <laughs> <laughs> I say I say boys, but this is clearly a man right here. I don't know what the fuck you doing hanging out with them. I was like, no, wait a minute, you thirty five years old. What you doing hanging out over here? But the rest of them niggas are th 14, 15 years they're old. They're fourteen years old, and they beat the shit out of Joe. Go. Do something. <laughs> 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 I, I told you he can't count. Yeah. <laughs> wow, there's like eight of them. Yeah, you are, what are you yeah. that's the dumbest thing. What y'all got? He's surrounded by damn eight hood urchins over here. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy <laughs> for a scrap. What the, the fuck, fuck are you doing? You don't know you fucking with what? So, do something. I was like, why you say that, man? Even when I was oh, watching yeah, this, exactly. I, said, I said, and I know, I mean, it's Jody. This is baby boy. Of course, he's going to get his ad beats. I never thought he had a chance with these kids over here. I was like, well, they did something. They beat your ass, but they did. Yeah. I love that scene when they finally got those kids back. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, when they went, they, they tracked their ass down. They got them back good. Nah, they did. I ain't going to sock you, little nigga, because you got heart. But I ain't going to whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I did, not, funny there. I did not see that. Yeah, I did not see that coming right there, man. I didn't see that coming at all. <laughs> I hate to admit that I have anything in common with Jody, but I do. Turns out that Jody and I, we kind of watch cartoons the same way. Papa, your bitch ass ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> you know, I say, man, I'd be lying if I said I didn't talk back to <laughs> I, I left out loud. I did, I did, I did too. <laughs> I can't tell me times I watch cartoons I'm like Batman gonna get your ass. You know, I, I do the same thing that he does. <laughs> your bitch ass ain't gonna do that. I mean, he's watching. That's what's funny about it. He's just watching Popeye. I tell you, this shit is just random, man. Yeah, but that is random. But, but clearly, Popeye is gonna do something. I know. Popeye, I know. God damn it. You ain't seen this cartoon before? It's Jody, man. He don't know no difference. <laughs> he showed up. So, he's so stupid, man. He just says some things that are so dumb. But he, he just shows how childish that he is, and I just had to laugh at some of the things that he said. You need some money? Got a little change for you. Please, Jody, you ain't got no money. And that's what I thought. I thought you ain't got no goddamn money. <laughs> <laughs> he just Yeah, he just messing with them. And then ain't trying to offer them money, ain't got no money, and follows up with this. Bring me back a fat burger, mama, on the real. A little cheese, you know how I like it. <laughs> mama. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> get your bitch ass back in the house. Yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> Bring me back a fat burger. <laughs> yeah, with a little bit of cheese. You know how I like it. You know how I like it. You know, <laughs> I, I'm going to tell you, I did not know what to do with this movie, man. I hate the images. I hate the characters. Uh, it has moments here and there, as I was just saying. Uh, but, you know, it always goes back to the bullshit, man. And I did not know what to do with this. And then a hero stepped in. <laughs> Mama's new boyfriend, Melvin, yeah. who looks like a bear wearing a tank top. He even, Jesus, he's huge in this he, movie. He, he is. is. He even steps on the scene like an animal, growling like a bear. And Jody knows his world is Yeah, right he does. <laughs> you know, it's true. Mm -hmm. It's true. Look, it's like, man, everything's about to change right now. It's <laughs> done. I think never be the same again. Not for the better for me. <laughs> no, it's it's over. It's done. Jody Free can't he, he can't compete with this man. Mm -mm. Uh, Melvin, played by Ving Rains, because Melvin, Mel, you can just buy the before you even see his face. You you look at him and he's big. He's scary, but the other side of it is that Jody just can't compete with him physically. Jody can't even compete with his style. Like, like Melvin's just pimping, man. <laughs> Some nice shoes. Stacy Adams. Like, even Jody, he didn't want to say that shit. He didn't want to give him a compliment. He had to. He's like, God damn. Yeah. He's staring at <laughs> now. Sure, sure. You got he, something he, to say? He tried to go to the smallest thing he could. <laughs> right. <Some> nice shoes. <laughs> He's got style. Oh, no, yeah, he's fucking crazy. Yeah, I got to hand that to you. You smart, little man. You ain't no killer like me, and that's good. I mean, I ain't have my dome straight. I was like, oh, good. Uh, you know what? Finally, finally, somebody crazy enough to come here and deal with his ass. Because that's the only way to deal with Jody sometimes. You got to just be. That's true. Mm -hmm. you, yeah, you just got to be out there. I was like, this crazy motherfucker's going to set him straight. <laughs> and, I, I, and, and, the, and the worst part of it, the worst part for Jody, forget all of that. The worst part for Jody is that his big ass ain't going anywhere. Me and your mama getting real serious. Keep seeing some new shit out here, but this ain't nothing but a rerun to me. I was like, tell him, man. <laughs> tell him. Cut the TV off on him. Yeah, you done with this, ain't you? That's a power move. He said, shit. Oh, yeah, I bought this TV. Yeah, I was about to say, it's my TV. Off. Oh, yeah. my God. And he was all excited to see it, too. Uh -huh. <laughs> He thought he was gonna be, I love it. Yeah, he thought he'd be looking at some more Popeye. They're like, nah, man. Boys would kill me. He got this big screen TV. He's gonna sit right in front of it yeah. while he can see his pixels. <laughs> but he turns his shit off mid set Oh, yeah. And I've done it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, this is much, which, That's which, enough TV it's, for the name, yeah, yeah. It's pretty much if you wanna watch this TV, you gotta ask me. Right. Yeah. And Jody, and I love it, Jody can't do shit about it. Jody can't do nothing. All the thing that Jody can do is just jump at his ass after he left the room. You better go on somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> a little well, sorry ass flinches too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You made sure, did you see me? Oh, okay. all, right, all right, cool. You better walk on. Oh. I mean, the dude has practically moved in now. He ain't going nowhere. And thing is, he moves in and immediately starts marking his territory. Want some breakfast? <laughs> Over there, cook, cooking eggs, drinking Kool-Aid with his ass hanging all out. He wanted Joe to want some breakfast. Yeah, talk about he wants some breakfast. <laughs> you know how you know he's a badass? Because he is Frying eggs naked. He put his naked. Dong out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, we, nobody does that because the grease can pop on yeah. you. It yeah. burns and he don't care. He don't care. Shit ain't the first time he's done this. Nothing says I ain't going nowhere like cooking eggs with your ass hanging all out. Yep. And, out, and offering you some. Yeah, right? That's the worst. If you ask me, that's the worst part. Like if he was just cooking, I'd be like, all right, man, whatever. You, you want some of this? No, I don't want no you know, your dick yeah. eggs and, and dick bacon and shit. I don't want none of that. Well, I guess you're going to be hungry yeah. then. Well, well, yeah. well, Bill, let me ask you this. What if it was HelloFresh? Would you like it then? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you wouldn't. Do, even with somebody's ass hanging out, I think you still would love to eat America's number one meal kit right here, man. I uh, deliver it that way. <laughs> yeah. You know, 
You would have known Ving Rhames and AKA Melvin really is going nowhere if he was cooking that Hello Fresh because Hello Fresh, you ain't got to leave the house for anything. Especially when you're saving money from restaurants and grocery bills. You know, a lot of people, I ain't talking about New Year's resolutions. I'm just talking about life goals. You said this, this, this year, starting now, I'm going to start eating right. I'm going to start trying to save a little money, be a little more practical. And Hello Fresh, which is sponsoring this portion of the show, is here to help you do just that. You know, with Hello Fresh, got over 35 weekly recipes to help you achieve those goals of, yes, eating better and also saving some money. First of all, let's talk about the health benefits of Hello Fresh. You know, they have very calorie smart and carb smart choices for people to eat out there. You know, people got certain diets that they're doing right now because they're trying to eat a little bit better, cutting back on certain things. HelloFresh knows that and they want to help you out with that. You know, they got plenty of meals that you can customize by swapping out proteins or adding proteins or adding more vegetables or maybe eating nothing but vegetables, eating a complete veggie dish. And as I was telling you, man, you know, for those of you, you know, food is the important part of it. But some of you, like I said, you know, you want to save some money and HelloFresh can help you do just that. You know, with HelloFresh, I was telling you, but listen, I don't need to tell you, it's definitely cheaper than eating out at a restaurant. You know, you'll save a lot of money from eating out of a restaurant. 25% cheaper than takeout. It's even cheaper than going out and grocery shopping, too. <clears throat> and... It's not just about saving money. It's about saving time. Sometimes time is money. And they have these quick and easy recipes for you. You know, they have some recipes that you can make in about 30 minutes. But they also have a lot of these fast and fresh recipes that you can make in less than 15 minutes. And a lot of these things, you know, they're no joke, man. You know, we ain't talking about like soup. You know, we ain't talking, we ain't talking about like, you know, warming up, <laughs> warming up something. You know, we talking about meals. We're talking about seared. <laughs> we're talking about meals. We're talking about meals, meals, meals. We're talking about we we are talking about we, we're talking about steak and potatoes. We're talking about you know uh, Southwest pork and bean burritos over here, man. Uh, oh, and listen, you know that we have we have the Super Bowl coming around the corner, man. You know now some of you were on Hello Dude. Fresh and you were getting like snacks from Hello Fresh for your holiday parties. Do the same thing for the Super Bowl. You know, go ahead and start getting lined up to entertain your guest with a bunch of shareables, appetizers, sweets. You know, they even got things like baby back ribs, chocolate chip cookies. And, you know, that ain't looking everything in between. And that's a lot of in between right there. And as I said, hey, if you can get those things for your parties, you can get snacks and desserts and all kind of stuff anytime from them, man. They're very versatile over there. Got it all covered over at HelloFresh. You know what? I got you covered. Oh, but hello fresh. The reason why is because I got something for you. I'm gonna make it a lot easier for you to make this decision. You don't want to turn down some free stuff, and that's what HelloFresh has for you. Go to HelloFresh.com slash double toasted21 and use the code double toasted21 for 21 free meals, and that includes free shipping. You heard me right. 21 free meals plus free shipping. If you go to HelloFresh.com slash Double Toasted 21, that is H-E-L-L-O-F-R-E-S-H dot com slash Double Toasted 21. That is D-O-U-B-L-E-T-O-A-S-T-E-D. And that is the number 21 that you put on there to get 21 free meals plus free shipping. They've given me so much food that I've actually given some kits to people out there to try and got positive feedback. I know a couple of people actually went on and signed up for HelloFresh. Because of what I shared with them, so you know, yeah, I, like like Adam, you know, my friend Adam, man, uh, you know, what I'm talking about Mark, and mm -hmm. so that could be you. Give it a try, man. You got nothing to lose, but you got 21 free meals to gain if you do this. I want to thank Hello Fresh for sponsoring this portion of the show. I want to thank all of you out there, well, for all the support you always give. Thank you, Hello Fresh, America's number one meal kit. Thank you very much. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing we got here. So you know if that ass is hanging out, where were we? Oh, yes, Ving Rhames' ass, a.k.a. Melvin's ass. So you know if that ass is hanging out, it's only a matter of time before the fluids start getting spread everywhere. 
And they, I, I know you. Do you remember this ability? I know it's been a while. You said, yeah, yeah. You remember all over the fucking house. Yeah, he, when he's going around having uh, sex froggy style going to the house. And he look, people don't have sex like that. He's doing that just no, to fuck no. with Jody, man. Right, yeah. right, right. How much more can I make? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm gonna hop all around his living room so I can just wake his ass up. The more Melvin starts laying it down and doing power moves, the more Jody comes back trying to prove that he's the man of the house. Which uh -oh. means that he's just he starts running his mouth. And you just shaking your head, and be like, "Please, you, don't, don't, man. don't make this man mad." I mean, you see, yeah, this video, agree, yeah. please stop before you make this man mad. And what's great about Melvin is that he sits back and he just lets he lets Jody run his mouth just enough for him to feel like yep. Jody really is doing something. Make Jody feel like he's confident, like, "Oh, I'm, I really am holding it down. Oh, it's gonna be only a matter of time before Melvin's out, Melvin's out of here because old Jody's holding it down." You gonna beat my mama? I think you know better than that, don't you? You want to walk around here with your chest all out talking? See, that's when he's like, I don't, please. Yeah, it is right there, boy. You see how start doing that? I'm like, look, look, yeah, man. Stop. I, 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 let me take back what I said. <laughs> yeah, that's a warning sign. That right there. And, 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 and See, that's what I'm talking about. That's a warning sign to stop. But sure. he got Jody so gassed up that Jody like, oh, yeah. Shit, I got him on the ropes now. That's all I'm talking about. You a real man. You a dirty m Melvin. Now, right when so so, <laughs> baby boy's not wrong. No, well, it could be you know, could be some debating going on here. That's no, Melvin is not a good dude, but he's just the hero we need in this situation. Melvin, uh, you know, it's the, the, what I like about this movie: the jury's still out on Melvin. Like Melvin might be a good dude now, but Melvin yeah. was definitely not a good dude in the past. You know, it's hard to tell where it's gonna go with Melvin because there's still some right. fucked up things going on with Melvin, man. But I tell you this: Melvin is smart. Because Melvin plays it. You know, Melvin, oh, yeah. he plays Jody. Right when Melvin got Jody thinking that, oh, yeah, I'm running shit around here. Well. Ah, yeah, youngster. Mom. <laughs> oh, he called for his mama quick. That was, boy, he, he went, one minute he went from, I'm running shit, the next minute he's calling his mama. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a basic life lesson. Don't talk shit and then close your right. eyes. And, and lean and back. Lean back. Yeah. And show him all that neck. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Expose all that neck. Yeah, he, he laid it up for him. <laughs> Boy, and that was that shit. He called his mama out of instinct. Like, he wasn't even thinking know, when yeah. he said that. Mama. Tell your ass about it. Mom. Boy, that was a weak ass mama too. Because yeah. <laughs> he, boy, he squeezed all that bass out of his throat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get your ass up on out here. Mama. Boy, he, he, <laughs> he a big ass arm right I there. I know. Yeah. A big old python right there. I mean, <laughs> and the thing about it is, when you watch that scene, you're like, oh, I know it's coming, but when is it coming? Like, it's, it's nerve wracking, man. It's anxiety like inducing. You're like, Oh, well, yeah, he's cool with that. It's a question of is he going to crack his neck or is he going to put him to sleep? Right. Yeah, that's what I was, that's what was, what was making me nervous. you right, Billy. I was like, he, I mean, it's only going to be so much that this man can take. He ain't going to sit up here right. taking yeah. this shit from him. Like, yeah, when, when, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when is this going to go down. When's he going to break his ass down? Yeah. And then right then, I was like, that's it. Yep. The yeah. camera's staying on his little ass too long. Yeah. If he's on lockdown, I think you get on your knees and fix it. So if it weren't for Jody's mama, he would have raped him because obviously yep. that's what he did in prison. Yeah. And should I tell you what, if 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 mama didn't show up, Jody probably be dead. Because he was about to choke his ass out. Yeah. He was. Yeah, she was about to put that ass to sleep. And I love how I love how uh, how Melvin plays it. Damn, look at it. <laughs> Karate yeah. chopped that head. <laughs> And I yeah. love how Melvin right, plays it off when uh when Mama walks into the room. Melvin, oh, no, right there, I just look at that one more time, boy. You was it, you were inches close to death right there. Yep. And then Mama walks in the room. And he's like, "Oh, we ain't doing nothing. We just ah <laughs> uh, nothing. You want something from the store? Yeah. <laughs> you want something from the store? Like your dignity? 
<laughs> like your dignity. <laughs> yeah. He walks up for the stone. Yeah. Yeah, bring me some aspirin. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, you got, a, got a neck brace over there? You got a neck brace. Yeah, 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 yeah. A neck brace yeah. So we cool, right? Now, what's, what's so cool about Melvin is he might be crazy, but like I said, he's, he's, he's very smart. Now, what are the guns? The guns, that's the real estate. The stocks and bonds. You little dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't just go over real good no. real speech, could he? No. You gotta, he, 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 get, he gotta make sure they know their place, man. That's true. Yeah. And you know, in the and the thing about the thing about Melvin is that, you know, he's he's a bad combination to be on his bad side because he's smart and he's always lurking. That's the thing. He's like you like you never know when he's around. You know, for like for a big dude. He's stealthy, man. You know, That's like, true. Like you, like, like Jody never heard his big ass swooping down on him. Yeah, uh, youngster, get your ass about here. I want you to notice something. He made his footsteps sound heavy on purpose, so that it oh, sounded like he. So it sounded like when he sneaks up on <clears throat> his ass, you wouldn't hear anything. Come on. <laughs> you never know when he's lurking around. Never know he's gonna swoop down on you, and he's smart and. To top it all off, he's got super hearing too. This nigga come up in this motherfucker doing this shit every night, nigga. That's on the real. Crew. What? That no. <laughs> well, I love that favorite. <laughs> <laughs> you would think with everything that we're telling you, you know, all that badass stuff combined, man, that Jody would learn to, I don't know, shut the fuck up, leave him alone. You know, you would think that after being threatened with rape, and damn near choked out that that would teach you to not provoke this crazy son of a bitch. But like you know, but we talking about Jody. You know, Jody don't Jody don't learn. So Melvin said, "Well, shit. You know, if, if I can't teach it, maybe that maybe that living room table can tell you something." You need to move. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> like, man, I was talking to my mom. Man, why are you hit me like that? <laughs> Yeah, what the, I was talking to you, bro. He came over there. Wow. So you just gonna go there and just push that dude. See, see, that's what he, Melvin got into his head. Made him think that, okay, all right, you, you running shit around here. I'm just I'm just another man around here. I'm just a dude. Had to show him something, man. You know, thing is, I look at this and it's 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 sad because it didn't have to be like this. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of scenes of Melvin just Trying to talk sense to this dude. Yes. Like before, it, before it escalated to this, almost warning him. First of all, let me help you and give you some advice. I've done this already. I've been out there. I've made these mistakes. Don't do this, man. Go out there, get a job, and be responsible and make some of yourself. And if I, and listen, and if I can't, if I can't get to you that way, if I can't talk sense to you, I've gave you plenty of warnings to shut the fuck up. Before I had to get to this point, you know, it's it's I, that part of the movie. Man, Ving Rhames is so good in this role, and He's these, great. These, these scenes are so these scenes are so good. I mean, these scenes are amazing, man. Like this part of the movie, I love. Like I, re and that's because somebody's finally telling Jody something, and Jody's getting his ass whooped. I mean, if nothing else, I've been, boy, I have been waiting, and I saw it in the trailer. You know, somebody put it in one of our. Hype trains. I sat up yeah. here and waited for this moment so long. <laughs> this, this, this was the money shot for me. I was like, yes, yes. Early movie, uh, uh, there was what I thought was was a, was a cameo. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh from, yeah, from yeah. Yvette's boyfriend, caller from jail. Is this Jody running around on the streets like a little ass boy? You. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? He laid it out for him, boy. <laughs> boy, that's some. Nigga the list. Boy, that that's a monologue, right? That's some. That's some. Uh, that's some ghetto Shakespeare for your ass, right? right. This fool is the main villain <laughs> of the movie, man. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't. You know, I didn't know that we actually had a nemesis in this film, man. But turns out that he's a he's he's the main antagonist in this film. Oh shit. What's happening, baby? I'm home. I love that line. Oh shit! And the moment he <laughs> hits like, the scene, like, like 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 he was gone for a week or some right, shit. Right. 
And you think Jody's trifling. You realize that Snoop, boy, I I forgot what his name was in the movie, but you realize Snoop is much worse. Rodney, Rodney. Rodney. What you got? Rodney, yeah, you you realize that Rodney, Rodney is much worse than him. Damn, what you got to eat up in this (laughs) motherfucker? Shit, hungry as fuck. <laughs> and, like, oh, and, and think he's not just a hood villain. I mean, he's like Marvel villain level, man, because he's so evil. Like Jody's trifling, but 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 Rodney's evil, man. Now, spoiler alert. I'm just gonna sit, put this out here right now. Uh, Rodney does get killed. Shoot me, you punk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, fucking. <laughs> Like, are you for real? <laughs> hey, he asked. <laughs> so, but okay, I mean, you, you were supposed to. Uh, I, I do everything, huh? <laughs> yeah. Now, 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 here's the thing. I, I you know, in, in these kind of movies, another reason why they kind of get to me is because I just, you know, I'm at the point now. I just don't like movies glorifying, you know, black people killing black people like this that's what these movies end up being after a while it was you know they're glorifying that shit you know it's almost like the black the, the hood western or something but mm-hmm. but but rodney's so evil man he had it coming it oh, like, oh yeah no, no his death was satisfying yeah yeah, yeah he had it coming and then some yeah. yeah he had it coming this dude he's just evil rodney's just evil man from first he um like on when he steps on the scene he just makes makes his way in the vet's house without asking, just moves in without saying anything, and just starts hating on her and Jody's son for no reason, man. Yvette ain't here, cuz. Come get his mother. I ain't trying to be his father no way. Like, damn, man. I was like, okay, well, he's taking him out the house, and I'm glad he did because Rodney, Rodney just, he's, he's mean to that boy for no reason at all. Like, boys, that boy ain't bothering nobody. Good morning, scrub. Built you a little fort, huh? I about you a little fort. <laughs> I was like, nah, that, 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 that's, that's, that's pure evil, man. Like, he could have easily walked around that shit. Yeah. But he, he, he went trunching through there like Godzilla just to mess with that boy, just to let him know how much he hates his little ass. And, and like being Rain, or Melvin, he also has super hearing, at least for that little kid, because he's waiting for any moment. He's just listening. Just listen for any moment to cuss that poor little boy out. I want my daddy. I know. Your punk ass daddy. Did he wait out the street at that point? Yeah, he's across the street here at that shit. <laughs> and it sounds like he's far away, too. I mean, listen to how that shit was. Listen, listen to how that shit was echoing, man. I want my daddy. I know. Punk ass daddy. He not even in the house, man. He's across the street. <laughs> Rodney's so evil, man. So evil that he, you know, and, and we knew this was going to happen. I was like, this, this, this is why I hate vet Because I was like, why you let this man up in here with your child, man? You know this man is a feral animal. You know at some point he's going, you know at some point he's going to turn on you if you don't give him what, what he wants. Sit your ass down. Your ass off. I'm horny. So he's a rapist, too. Now, funny thing is, as much as he hates... That little boy, that little boy is what actually saved his uh, his mama from getting raped. So you gonna rape me? Stop it! In front of my son? Me. Shit, I thought he was about to put one of them skinny elbows to that little boy's face, man. I was, I was yeah, so relieved yeah. to see when he didn't. But here's the thing, and Martin, I don't know, maybe you could, you could tell me, because I'm and tell me if I'm missing something. I'm not even saying that uh, uh, sarcastically, but mm-hmm. you know, he's out on parole. Yeah. Living up in her place. Could yeah. she, because she kept, and the reason why she about to get raped, I ain't saying it's her fault, not at all, but the reason why she about to get raped, because she didn't tell him to get out, or she's been telling him to get out, and he's been refusing, which we know yeah. is what he's going to do. Right. But if he's on parole, couldn't she just have called the police and got his ass sent back to jail? Yeah, she could call his parole officer and just say that he doesn't actually live there, and that'd be enough to, to get him, because sure. he put her address down as his permanent address. Right. Um, <clears throat> But this is here's what you gotta look at, like just Yvette's psychology. When he was in prison, locked away, where he was couldn't do nothing to anybody, she was still accepting his collect phone calls and writing them letters. Yeah, yeah and writing them letters, and talking shit about Jody in those letters too. Right, yeah. right. So you know she's she's really messed up, yeah. probably more than every other character in this. She's show. messed up, but also to, to piggyback on your point, like 
she's in an impossible situation there. And calling the parole officer might be a, a frightening proposition for her mm-hmm. because, you know, how long is it going to be before the parole officer has to, comes and checks on him? And, and if he finds out, what's he going to do to me and my son? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah and if, he, think, if he feels like he's got nothing to lose, what's he going to do? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know no, what I mean? True. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah know, no, no, no. That's is, something I considered. Right. But, but it, 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 it comes across more that she's just soft hearted for her. Every every one of these guys. Oh, she's just got a type. She oh, likes she, she likes thugs, right. dudes. She like you know, for her, a, a, a guy who's a guy who's mistreating her, she takes it as confidence. And of course, she tries to go out and kill Jody because that's what evil sons of bitches like. He's just fr- frustrated. Yeah, yeah, man. And you know, I'll give him this. He's a good hunter. You know, because he, he, I love the way he lured Jody in because when he, because speaking of that perm. He cracked the window just enough to make Jody think that that was a chick behind the glass. Because <laughs> Jody, Jody was smiling. He's like, oh, yeah, who this rolling up? Oh, shit, <laughs> oh, shit it's a man. It's him. <laughs> it's you. I love it. He's like, oh, see, Yvette, she over there playing. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sure yeah. was. What, what, what you going to do now? Yeah, sure was. He saw them perms and he <laughs> thought, hey, it's her. Oh, 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 shit, it's you. <laughs> Uh, I tell you, uh, uh, so he, he he lures him in. Of course, we know this because these are how hood movies go. You know, it's, it's, there's going to be a shootout at some point here. You know, a drive by, and of course, you know, Rodney tries to kill Jody. Uh, and the thing is, Rodney, he might be evil, but trying to kill Jody is actually what saved Jody's life. Oh, you got me. You know, <laughs> <up a <laughs> oh Lord Jesus. Uh, the, 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 <laughs> oh Lord Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the movie tried to fake you out because the, the whole time they were trying to make you think that Jody was gonna die. You know, they like that scene right there. But uh, you know, but but of course. What happens later on in the movie is that because Martin was telling you, kind of, it kind of ends, ends on a hopeful note right here. Uh, Jody was having those premonitions. The movie's trying to fake us out. Actually, mm-hmm. that did not happen. I thought it was, I thought it was dead. That okay, that I, Tyrese is great, but that was some terrible line line delivery right there. I yeah. thought it was dead. Yeah, <laughs> but some surprise Omar wasn't like they didn't even hit you. Why did right. you go down? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're not you little pussy. Yeah, <laughs> but you did shit yourself. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, maybe you want to get care of that real quick. Yeah, the hose is over uh, there. <laughs> but I tell you, uh, you know, they didn't hit him, but almost dying, almost dying is what's pretty much turned Jody's life around. It uh, brought him closer to Melvin. I actually really like that scene right there, man. Oh, it's yeah, a great scene. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it is a great scene. Um, and also, the most important thing is, it finally got Jody's ass out the house. I'm glad you got a new boyfriend. I just thought, once you get a new boyfriend, y'all was gonna kick me out. Nobody kick you out, Jody. Hey, shut that dumb shit up. <laughs> she's like, she's like, yeah, she's like, he almost was there. He yeah. was just uh, there. Uh-huh. And then y'all did keep me. Yeah. She's like, get the fuck out of my yeah, garden, yeah. goddamn. Yeah, you, you Jesus ain't, Christ. Are you too stupid to die. You just left the mess. <laughs> you stupid as hell. I'm the one to try to kill you. I paid Rodney to come get your ass. <laughs> uh, hey, man, you know what? The way that Melvin and Jody begin the long, I, I, I love the ending with them, man. The way they just kind of resolve things and showing, like, you know, they're finally cool, man. And I was, I was yeah. glad to see that. Stay up, baby boy. I got you. Man, it, you could even imagine in him uh, maybe somewhere down the line if if Jody don't fuck up again and Melvin ain't as crazy as we think he is. Because <laughs> if there's a chance that Melvin, I mean, all this is kind of up in the air. You know, listen, this is just a day. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. is. It is. Yeah. I, I, I got more money on Jody 
staying on the on the track than than Melvin not going crazy. You don't like, you don't like him. Well, what? I like Melvin, but <laughs> no, you know what? No, dude, I, I've known a lot of I love, I've known a lot of Melvins. All right, and um, yeah, they, he's gonna go off at some point. See, I, right. I'm the opposite, man. I think Melvin's gonna be the one to do all right. Melvin's been through it. I think he's gonna do all right. I think Jody gonna fuck him up to again. Be all right. I've, yeah, I, I've wanted Melvin's to be all right <laughs> at well, some point. Yeah, yeah, Jody aggravating him too, though. True. Yeah. True. And, and yeah. Say something else. He's all stare up, baby boy. He's like, yeah, my jaw still fucking. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> baby boy ain't my yeah. name no more. What'd you say, huh? Yep. Uh, but hey, if they're both fine, if they're both okay, maybe there's hope that even they could be friends one day. What you know about that, Mel? Uh, that's my shit, youngster. Hey, there you go. They both smiling, they're getting along, and finally, Jody. Well, as far as we know, has finally committed to one woman, Yvette. That's all what? good. Is that what you think? That's what I know, baby. I got two books, girl, I bid for. But you gotta get four. All the actors in here were great, man. And that was a, oh, yeah. that's a really good ending for the movie. I mean, whether you believe they're going to stay on the track or not. But, I, you know, I, I went from hating this movie to I still don't think it's great because it's just all over the place. And I just don't like a lot of the imagery in here. But, man, it's a better movie than I give it credit for. You know, it's a lot of great I, stuff I, in here. I, I, I fully agree. Like I said, it's it's all over the place and it's, and it's laughable. And then toward the end, it's like, oh, it's actually really kind of coming together. But, I mean, man, look, I... I I'd watch this again if it was on TV. You know that I know what to expect with it. You know, because when, I, yeah, when they you know. we look at all that that all the you know those hood parts, I was like, I didn't know what to expect after that. So now that I know what right. you know what was coming, it's uh it's it's pretty fun. You know, I, I I laughed I laughed more than I thought I would in this, whether I was opposed to or not. So. <laughs> right, yeah, right. But like I said, man, between Rodney and Jody. <laughs> Yvette ain't never wait to drive that car, boy. I'm just saying. I'm, I, I'm just saying, not even leaving the keys there. There's always somebody else driving oh, her always shit. Always somebody taking it.